Yep, it's right. I'm going to travel again and in this video I'm going to show you how to prepare to drip to Greece in the weird times we live in in 2020. Hi guys, welcome to a new video. So, um, as you can probably read from the title, this video is all about how to prepare for a trip to Greece in 2020. This will be um, part of a two-part series um, that I will be filming. The next part will be um, showing you in a like a vlog style what it's like to travel to Greece um, in 2020, the shittiest year ever. <laughs> but um, yeah, and also I have to yeah, say a little disclaimer here. Um, this video is all for EU citizens because we have different rules. We can travel within our own um, within the EU um, if the countries are safe. And um, yeah, it's a bit different. So if you are outside from the EU, please research your own um, restrictions rules because I'm not really sure you can enter right now um, the EU. Probably not. But um, please research that. And yeah, I would say let's start with the video. Okay, so the first thing you have to keep in mind when booking a trip to Greece is um, that you should book a package deal. To me personally, I prefer not booking package deal. First of all, you can get, uh, get to travel cheaper and stuff. I prefer having an Airbnb um, or book hotel and flight separately just so I can be a bit more free, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, we live in 2020 and we live in the time of Corona and nothing is safe. So um, yeah, I would highly recommend booking a package deal because it's more secure, more safe for you in case um, something goes wrong when it comes to Corona. So um, what I did, I booked a um, package deal with um, the company called TUI. Um, this is all applies for Germany. I don't know how it's... Um, yeah, is in other countries, but um, yeah, what I'm now saying is all for Germany. So I booked a package deal with TUI and they actually have a Corona um, deal. <laughs> I don't know, like, so you can be safe. So in case um, I would have to quarantine, they will take over the quarantine. Um, in case Greece, for example, will be declared high risk country from like the German government, um, they will immediately fly me back, so I'm a bit more secure with all the package. I don't know, I think there's um, also other stuff uh, included, like uh, going to the hospital and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's overall like the biggest points of that package. And um, yeah, also what I also have is a travel insurance that will cover um, the pandemic, obviously, um, in times like this, this is very, very important, which I would highly recommend uh, to anyone, um, even outside of Germany, of, of course, um, to um, yeah know before if your travel insurance will cover all that, because if not, you're going to be like, yeah, it's not good. And I think uh, most countries right now want you to have a travel insurance that will cover that, so um, you can be safe. And the next thing you obviously have to keep in mind when booking a trip to Greece is um, as of right now you have to apply on the Greek um, website, on the Greek government site for um, a QR code. Um, this is like the famous QR code. I will go over how to apply for that um, later in the video. But um, yeah, basically you have to apply, I think, at least 72, 72 hours or 48 hours before you're um, going to travel to Greece um, for that um, QR code. And then you will get that code um, at midnight of your travel day. So for example, I'm flying on Saturday, I will get it at midnight, um, hopefully, because I also heard that, um, yeah, some 
uh, sometimes it goes wrong, I don't know, with the system and stuff like that, and um, some people didn't get the QR code. Um, as of right now, I'm going to travel to Greece in like six days, so I don't really know if mine will be arrive, will arrive in time, um, but I will update you in the, um, another part of this kind of travel to Greece series. Okay, now on to how to actually apply for the QR code. Um, you have to click a link um, on the Greek government site, set up an account and then fill out all sorts of information. Um, your personal information, your airline information, your hotel information in Greece, um, also your personal residence, uh, permanent residence information, as well as if you travel with a family member that you live in the same household with, or if you uh, travel with a friend um, that isn't in your um, household. Um, and then once you're finished, you get a PDF document via mail. Um, please save that document because I've heard they also want to see that one as well as the QR code you get later. Um, and yeah, I would just, to be sure, save every email you get and also make screenshots. And um, yeah, then you're finished. It's pretty easy. Then another thing you have to keep in mind um, when it comes to like going into Greece that you might be one of those people from your flight that would get tested for Corona. Um, they don't really pick everyone because that's like too many people, but um, sometimes they would choose um, a person that has a QR code with the number two or three. I think the Greek government decides that on the day of your arrival, so there's not really um, a particular, you know, order that you know, oh, I will get tested or not. Um, it's just they decided uh, on that day. So um, I might get tested, I don't know. Either way, I personally decided um, that after my trip to Greece, I will get tested here in Germany. So I will go to my doctor of trust and um, yeah, I will get tested. Um, I can tell you a bit about like the background here in Germany, what it's like um, with like testing at the moment when you travel. So um, yeah, there were countries like for example Spain, Mallorca, which is a very, um, yeah, popular tourist destination for Germans um, and also Croatia um, they were declared high risk so um, if for example I'm in Greece and uh, the German government decides during my trip to Greece um, that it's high risk I have to go back to Germany um, I don't know not immediately I could finish my holiday if I want to probably a don't want to, um, but we'll see if that's the case. I hope not. Um, yeah, and then I have to go back to Germany and then immediately get tested either at the airport. There are test uh, centers at the airport which are usually a bit crowded, and um, yeah, you have to get tested or at your doctor um, on the next like work day or business day, and um, yeah, and then. Uh, you have to also quarantine um, until you get a negative test. If your test is obviously positive, you have to quarantine for 14 days. And usually it depends on your um, employer, but usually they don't cover um, your quarantine. So you might not get wage, um, which would suck in my opinion. So um, if if it's avoidable, I will obviously not go to a high-risk country um, and let's hope Greece will not be declared a high-risk country during my trip. So before we end this video, I would also like to mention something uh, when it comes to social distancing. Um, at the moment right now, and at least as of my research and what I've seen online, uh, Greece is less crowded than before because obviously there are only Europeans allowed and or EU citizens, not even <laughs> or Europeans, um, yeah, EU citizens. And um, most of European people are staying within their own country, at least when it comes to Germans, because I know that many, many Germans are staying at home this year, which is great because honestly, I initially wanted to stay in Germany as well. I wanted to make a little road trip around the Alps um, because I've never been to my own kind of backyard uh, when it comes to the Alps and um, I traveled Germany but unfortunately I was never in Garmisch-Partenkirchen or Berchtesgaden 
Uh, I've been to Austria, but I've never been to our own mountains, uh, which is sad because they're three hours away from me. So I wanted to do that initially, but unfortunately everyone is staying home and everything is booked out. So even if I wanted to, I wouldn't even be able to get a hotel or anything. And also the beaches are crowded, the mountains are crowded. Social distancing cannot is just not possible. So I decided to go um, yeah, to Greece instead. And um, as far as I know uh, right now, social distancing is possible because there are less people there. But I also have to mention that um, I think two weeks ago my colleague was in Rhodos, which is another Greek island if you don't know, and um, she said that they don't really take it seriously. So there were Greek people who said, oh, you don't need to wear a mask, and she was like, yes, I have to wear a mask, because um, you get high fines from the Greek government if you don't wear it, especially as a tourist, and um, yeah, it. That was kind of weird. She was kind of a bit disappointed because they didn't take it seriously. Um, I personally hope I'm going to Corfu and I hope that they are taking it seriously. I think most people are going to Great and Rados, so maybe Corfu is a bit, you know, less crowded, um, less full of people and social distancing will be a thing. Um, if not, I'm definitely going to social distance and hopefully I will have um, yeah, a relaxed holiday. And um, yeah, also I have to mention when it comes to masks, I know that um, in Mykonos and also in Santorini, I think, uh, you have to wear masks now outside and not just um, in like, you know, rooms or in restaurants or in shops. So um, yeah, you have to wear it outside now too, which is kind of hard, I think, especially if it's like 30 degrees plus. But um, yeah, of course it's safer and um, yeah, just keep that in mind if you're planning to go to Mykonos or Santorini. So guys, that was it for the first part of this video. Um, the second part will be uploaded soon. Um, it will actually show you how to travel to Greece. So it will show me on my travel day to Greece, how it is to uh, yeah get in, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, I get the QR code, hopefully I won't get tested or even if I do, um, it won't be that bad and I don't have to quarantine that long. Um, but yeah, that was it um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Follow me on Instagram for all the cool Instagram shots of Grace. And um, yeah, I'm very excited. Make some time for me and you, get you over, treat you right.